Hi everyone, in this video, you guys are going to learn about decreasing annuities. A decreasing annuities is another NFT account that you guys are going to learn, which is the concept will be opposite of increasing annuity. In decreasing annuity account, it will involve with several equal withdrawal made which is withdrawal we will denote as W until the account is depleted, the balance becomes zero. So for decreasing annuity account, we will start with the account with the amount in the account, which is known as the principal amount. And from for several years or for the period of time, the withdrawal is made until the account depleted or the balance becomes zero. As you see, different from annuity, uh, increasing annuity, where the increasing annuity from zero amount in the account, we do saving until we have an amount at the balance of the account, which is a true amount. So this is increasing and this is decreasing annuities that you're going to learn now. Let's look at this case scenario to understand more about decreasing annuity account. A college student grandparents deposit 13,860.42 in a decreasing annuity on September 1991. Beginning of the 1992 means after a year, the student will be sent 4,000 each year for four years. The account pays 6% compounded annually. Construct a record of the balance of this account. So means here, the grandparent deposit this amount in the account. Means principal amount of the account is 13,860.42. This is the principal amount. In four years, they will withdraw 4,000 a year to give to their grandchild. So that means total withdrawal make is 4,000 multiplied by 4, which is 16,000. That means total withdrawal 16,000. They will take out the 4,000 every year until the account is depleted something fishy here at the beginning the account only have 13,860.42 but you see here total withdrawal is higher than principal amount how is this possible this is because in four years this account earn interest that's why Every time we have decreasing annuity, the total withdrawal is always uh, bigger than principal amount of the account. So let us look at on the next page or next slide on what happened in four years. We see in 1991, nothing happened yet because the grandparent is only uh, putting the money in the account. But after one year in 1992, the 13,860.42 earn interest this is the interest they earn the account earn and how do we calculate interest still use the formula interest value equals to principal multiplied with r over m where for this one m equals to one so it will be i equals to p multiplied with r over one Okay, and balance before withdrawal, as you see, not longer 13,000 but become 14,000 plus already. And at the end of 1992, or on the first, gen, uh, first September of 1992, 4,000 is withdrawn from the account that leave the account as 10,692 ringgit fee 5 cent. And the same process repeat. In 1993, earn interest and then withdraw 4,000 and this is the balance. In 1994, another interest earn and then withdrawal of 4,000 make and this is the balance. And the last year, 1995, another interest is earned because we still have the amount in the account 
and then 4,000 is withdrawn and the balance is zero. Zero means the account depleted. No more withdrawal can be made. Okay. And as you see, total withdrawal is 16,000 and they are actually around 2,000 plus uh, interest, total interest earned from the account. For, in, for decreasing annuities, we have one formula, which is the formula to get the present value P, or the principal amount, the initial amount in the account. The formula will be equals to principal amount equals to W. W is for regular withdrawal made. Multiply with 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R over M to the power of MT divided by R over M. Let us apply this formula to the case scenario. A person has won a state lottery of for 1 million. However, rather than being awarded the money now, the state agrees to give the winner 40,000 per year for 25 years. How much should the state deposit in a decreasing annuity to cover the 25 withdrawals? Assume that the decreasing annuity pays 7% interest compounded annually. So as you see here, the winner still get 1 million, but how they get 1 million? They, uh, the winner will get 40,000 per year for 25 years. Total still be 1 million. Okay, win-win situation. But why did the state decided to give this way? Because by putting the some amount in the account, which is in the decreasing annuity account, it will allow them to save some money. Means they will not spend exactly 1 million to give the winner, but they will spend less than 1 million to give the winner. So the question here is how much should the state deposit into the account so that they can withdraw 40,000 from the account every year for 25 years. We want to find the present value or principal amount of the account. So let us take out the information first. 40,000 will be the W. 25 years will be the period of withdrawal, T. 7% will be the R. 0.07 compounded annually the withdrawal is made every year so m equals to 1 p equals to 40000 multiply with 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r 0 0.07 over 1 to the power of m times t 1 times 25 is 25 divided by R over M, 0 0.07 divided by 1. Please make sure to practice on pressing calculator so that you are familiar with pressing calculator process. You should get $466.143.33. As you see here, the state did not even spend 500000 to give to the winner $1 million. They only spent $466,000. To give the winner one million in the period of twenty five years, so they spend about five hundred k plus here. Another example: a decreasing annuity contains twenty five two hundred fifty thousand. 
how much can be withdrawn each month so that the annuity will be depleted in 25 years. Assume the annual percentage rate is 7.5% compounded monthly. Same questions. So we want to find how much can be withdrawn each month means to find the value of W now. And to find the value of W, we still use the same formula, but we have to adjust first the formula. W equals to principal P, present value, divided by 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R over M to the power of MT over R over M. 250,000 divided by 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r 7.5 percent 0 0.075 compounded monthly give us m equals to 12 to the power of mt 12 times 25 is 300 divided by r over m 0 0.075 over 12. <laughs> The answer you should get is $1,847.48. That is to find the withdrawal. That's all for the lecture. For lesson, decreasing annuity. For the practice, please try out the tutorial questions and watch the discussion of tutorial discussion. Thank you.